Top 05 Influential People Who Never Lived Number 05. Santa Claus What child has not been frightened into behaving thanks to the ever-present youthful fear of Santa not providing come Christmas? Almost all Western children were told by their parents that Santa would leave them nothing if they misbehaved. I speak from experience when I say that it was one of the most effective methods of stopping tantrums. Funnily enough, though, the fear always dissipates on Christmas Eve as you just know that Santa will be coming, even if you did slip up a few times. Number 04. Barbie. As Barbie has progressed from a pretty young woman to whom all girls could aspire, to something often verging on the likeness of a harlot, one can wonder whether it was Barbie influencing children, or children influencing Barbie. There are certainly many similarities. Barbie has depicted almost every possible female lifestyle choice and I think there can be no doubt that she has been at the start of the path many women have taken in life. Number 03. Robin Hood. This could potentially lead to a debate about whether Hood existed or not, but I am of the opinion that he did not. Therefore, he is listed as my number 8 on the list. I am sure we have all heard someone justifying theft because the victim is wealthy, and where did this justification come from? Not just the principles of redistribution of wealth that many of us live under in Western society, read envy taxes, but the fact that to this day, we are all raised believing Robin Hood was a hero, when, in fact, he was a thief. Stealing is almost always wrong, and just because Robin Hood gave the proceeds of his crimes to poor people, it is not a valid justification. As for the previously mentioned taxes, there is every reason for us to believe that the majority of people accept these taxes because of their prior belief in the false morality of the Robin Hood story. Number 02. Cowboys. This is one for the boys obviously. Even in remote New Zealand where I grew up, all the boys played cowboys and Indians. The cowboy was a great hero with a shining gun who represented the morality of Western ideals, manliness, defense of justice, protection of women and children. No doubt many now cringe at the lack of political correctness involved in the game and stereotype, but kids aren't politically correct, thank God, and certainly won't be hindered because of it. The influence of the cowboy movie genre is indisputable an immense one. Oh, and for those who say, but cowboys are real. Yes, but this is about the concept, not about a specific person, just as we might say Santa existed as Saint Nicholas, the concept is bigger than any one person. Number 01. The Marlborough Man. How many men reading this list who smoke, are smoking cigarettes with filters? Venturing a guess I would say all of them. Before the Marlborough Man campaign began, real men didn't smoke cigarettes with filters, they were for women. The aim of the Marlborough Man campaign was primarily to get men smoking filtered Marlborough cigarettes. The influence of the campaign is abundantly clear today. The campaign is considered to be one of the best in all history. According to Wikipedia, it transformed a feminine campaign, with the slogan, mild as may, into one that was masculine, in a matter of months.